Greetings viewers and welcome to my channel. My name is Ali Mukhtar and I am a retired banker. Today I have invited Mr. Osro Karamat Ali to be my guest. He is a chartered accountant and work for multinational corporations until he got an opportunity to become the youngest vice president of a Pakistani bank. When the banks were nationalized in Pakistan, he moved to BCCI, an international bank where he worked for 16 years in fairly senior positions. There, he was inspired by the philosophy of its founder, Mr. Agha Hassan Abdi. I know Khusro Sahib from the late 70s when he was the country manager of BCCI in Oman. As a manager working together, I was very much impressed by his personality and the style of management. Respectfully, I will be referring to Mr. Khusro as Khusro Sahib. In 2022, when Khosrow Sahib turned 80 years of age, he suffered a massive stroke, paralyzing most of his body. He has gradually recovered from most of his condition. Despite his difficulties, he accepted my invitation to be interviewed because of the seriousness and urgency of the matter. I will be discussing with Khosrow Sahib on the solutions that we must have to overcome the turmoils, injustices, and all that happening in the world today. Hence, this discussion is timely, critical, and very important. It will take a series of sessions to discuss, and today is the first session. Thank you, Khusar Saab, for accepting my invitation to be a guest on my channel. I look forward to having a fruitful discussion with you. Khusar Saab, what are the greatest threats that the world is facing today? I believe that the world as a whole is going in the wrong direction. It is going in a downward spiral. And let me explain why I'm saying this. There are four reasons. <clears throat> Number one, global warming. Now global warming, which has been called, caused by whatever mankind as a whole has done to the environment. And it's going to affect both the rich and the poor. But the difference is that the rich can absorb the impact in terms of the devastation that it will cause it will make the poor even poorer. What we have seen as far as global warming is concerned so far, worst is yet to come. Point number two, the divide, the system that we are using, basically capitalism, is creating a divide between rich and poor. In this system, the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. And this is not sustainable. So, and global warming is going to access, exacerbate this. The, the, the poor will become even more poor. The third thing is the failure of democracy. Now, democracy, there's nothing wrong with democracy. Democracy is a good system. Why it is failing? It is failing because it has been overtaken by capitalism. 
materialism has been introduced into democracy and democracy is now purchasable by the strong and influential lobbies who have the money. And we are seeing this worldwide, whether it is America or Europe or anywhere else. It's not a question of are we ready for democracy or not. Democracy does not represent the people anymore. It represents money and influential lobbies and powerful people. The fourth thing is social media and misinformation. Now you might ask, I am, uh, where does um, social media fit into global warming and democracy? It is very important. It is very important that we are now living in an age of misinformation. People are being told not what is truth, but what the lobbies, the vested interests want to tell them. And they know, know not. this is our media is under the influence and therefore misinformation will lead to the wrong type of people being elected through the democratic process and for them to create havoc. So these four very important reasons are just the tip of the iceberg as to why things are going in the wrong direction. Now, if you agree with me, <clears throat> then consider one more fact. The slide downwards is going to accelerate in the future. We have been in this present system since the end of the Second World War. And capitalism has reigned supreme. But capitalism has become an addiction. Capitalism is no longer capitalism. Capitalism has now become predatory capitalism. Um, so, so, what has happened now is that the equilibrium of the world has become imbalanced. And it's not just the division between rich and poor. There is now a new division. This is the powerful and the powerless. So there is an undeclared war between the powerful and the powerless. And so the rules by which we live are dictated by the powerful. There is not only a divide between the rich and the poor, there is also a divide between the powerless and the powerful. What do the powerful want from the powerless? And how we can solve this problem? What do the powerful want from the powerless? They want their assets. They want their land. They want their natural resources. And this has happened. Since the beginning of the world, this has happened. It's not the first time. And you know what the powerful have done with these things? They have built beautiful institutions. They have built uh, great universities. They have uh, invested in good things. But uh, that has left them also in control of the rules. And therefore, when the rules are being made by a few, then injustice comes in. And so we are today facing an, an unjust world. And we are spiraling down. So what happens? Let me give you an example, two examples. When the powerful take any actions, they say, 
it all started when you hit me back. Right? Or they say, um, <clears throat> look what you made me do. So there is no responsibility. The powerless are attacked, their assets are taken over, and then they are blamed. So that is what I meant by and we are creating an unjust world. Right? And so I will repeat again that if this system goes on, it is going to go on faster. And why is it going to go on faster? Because of technology. So in the last 75 years, if this has gone in, in a backward situation, in the next 10 years, this will grow in the wrong direction at greater and greater speed. So I wanted you to be aware of why it is so important to talk about an alternate system. We do not have a choice not to talk about it. We do not. If we value the majority of humanity. If you ask, is there an alternate system? People will say, I don't know, let's think about it. Maybe you're right what you're saying. I am saying, we have thought about it at length and there is an alternate system. We have to go back to our roots. We have to go back and seek advice from the universe. Thank you very much, Khusra Sahab, for sharing your valuable thoughts with us. So, viewers, we come to the end of this session of the series. I hope you liked it. If so, please like and share this video as much as possible. Please also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you keep updated with the future of the books. I will encourage and appreciate your questions and comments on this video. Please write them in the comments box. You may also send your comments and questions by email. The email address is askkle at alimakhtar dot com. All this information is also mentioned in the description of this video. Till next time, have a wonderful and thoughtful time. Thank you.